The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 6th of March, and we're looking at a very interesting market here. The Dow soared to the upside from yesterday's low in the 38,480s. Uh, here we are trading uh, with a high today of 38,837. Hmm, that's pretty good, except now we're only up 123 at 38,705. Um, I should just add for the den. Plop, the target of 20, uh, 5100 has just been hit. Um, okay, that's in the e mini. Now, let's just do this. Actually, I'll just show that to you now because it's a really important session. We've got in the um, one minute chart, we had a peak E at about 9 30 this morning at 5122.25. That was also a leg F, then became a peak F in the five minute. Turns out to be a peak F in the 10-minute uh, chart. There's that blue horizontal line going all the way back from around about the 24th of uh, February that I called. I said this is a narrow channel that the midpoint of it will become something that we have to monitor going into uh, uh, February and going into March probably. And here we are. It's hit it so many times. It pushed all the way up. Much higher now. It's back to the 5100 level. So I'm going to be watching this. Now, let's just go through the market one at a time. The Dow. The Dow is trading up 116 at 38,700. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, wrong chart. And you're doing as many things at once as I've been doing since 6 o'clock this morning. Mm, okay, there we go. So this is the Chubb Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. This is a technique I developed. I've got webinars on it. You can, if you're a subscriber, you can go to them as many times as possible, review them. Um, what I am going to look at, and this is going to be quite important, and I have to say congratulations, John, on your trade in uh, SMHs. That was really, really nice to see with the options, etc. Okay, that's in the debt. So um, the Dow trading at 131, up 133. You see the inside track repellent zone with a high of 39,282 on the 23rd, I think it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I put the wrong date? Yeah, 23, 24. Oh, I forgot the little line in the middle. There it is. Let me do that. There we are. There's your line. Forward slash. Go. Okay. So that went right to the top, the green line. Actually, you know what? I'm going to expand this because this is such an important session. Um, expanding it so you can see. So this is a technique I developed where I highlight with a trend line. You've obviously got to have two high highs or lower lows to be able to get a trend line. But then you can draw a channel, and the channel is a parallel line. And you can see how the price in this channel, this inside track, repellents and how the price just kept going then every time it went it's like a little like a like electric shock Oof, it got pushed away well every time it got pushed away it still made higher higher lows until yesterday now i'm going okay, i am i should do that now because it's so appropriate but i, I won't uh, there's a technique that i developed ages ago for all of those of you who do uh, work on candles i have a cup Maybe I'll have to do a webinar. I'll have a webinar on candles one of these days because I have a few candles that I've – patterns that I've developed over the decades that I think are, are really quite important. Uh, certainly the one that I'm looking at here is this Chapman Wave. There's a little mini Chapman Wave red Roman candle. There's a nice big green one, and uh, they have certain parameters, expectations. So what happened was I had said if we trade underneath the midpoint of this long wick, it doesn't look long now, but believe me, let me see if I can do it. No, I can't. It was a long wick just uh, three days ago, four days ago. Um, if it trades there for more than 90 minutes what, in the next two days, watch out because not only could you take the low out, but you'd go much lower. Well, look what happened. It went right down to the inside track propellant zone. And it plunged right through it. And if I show you on this particular chart that I show subscribers every day when I do my analysis, it went through the red 
20-period um, exponential moving average. And now we're trading right on it at 38,736. You can see that the 120-minute chart plummeted from this dreaded H pattern that looks, that looks like a lowercase h, take out the left side, it went much sharper, it can go one to one to the downside, which it did. It went right to the 200 period moving average, stopped dead yesterday, and now it's trying to bounce off it. It's had a nice bounce. So far, I'm calling it a bounce. I'm not ignoring any action in the market right at this time. Why? Because you know that highs are made in a rotational way, invariably. It's seldom that all the, all the indices, key indices, make their high on the same day. They do make lows on the same day. If not on the same day, it's within two days. Um, so that's a big difference. And now what we're looking at is you've got this inside track propellant zone, which could turn out to be a repellent zone. Not only that, the 9 period moving average, let me just show you here, the 9 period moving average in the Dow, if I can do this, yep, there it is has turned down, and now you've got both the green and the black. Look, when it pulled back so sharply again, there was a chance that we could go negative. That 9 period moving average didn't even budge. It was beautiful. And the, there was just a momentary slight turn down, more flat than anything else in the black 14 period moving average. Now it is turning down a little bit. But the day is so young, you've got the Fed. What if the Fed says we're going to start uh, uh, implementing um, some form of cuts, uh, you know, I mean, that's going to be quite, quite something. See uh, interest rates through the Fed's eyes start to come down. It's going to be tough to do. I don't think they're going to announce anything quite like that at the moment. So we're looking at this. You can see the gray the ones, the same chart. This only has the 9 and 14 period moving averages. And now look what's going on. Um, when you come down sharply like this, that's where the nine period moving average can turn pink by closing lower. But it hasn't. Look, it didn't do it then and hasn't done it yet. So as I say, the day is young. All right, get out, let's get out of this. I've got so much to discuss. Let me get back to this. So what we're looking at here is the S&P. It went to its inside track repellent zone. Tiny little doji candle, 51.33, 51.33. Forty-nine point sixty-seven. I thought thirty-one, forty-nine, sixty-seven. Good grief! I thought I updated it. Nine point sixty-seven. Uh, tiny Doji candle and is pulling back. Gap down hasn't yet filled the gap. Days young. Anything can happen. All right. Look at the weekly chart. Absolutely fantastic. Weekly chart is only in leg B and it made a new high, all-time high, uh, this week. So therefore, it continues leg B. You have to wait all of next week to confirm if there's no new, by one penny, if there's no new high above 51.49.67, that becomes a peak B. All right? Uh, we're looking at the QQQ, and this is going to be a very interesting why, because the QQQ this week has not made a new high. That's already a, a leg C with the potential for a peak C. And did I write type in? Yes, I did. 4-4, four, four, let me go into it. If I Sake, I haven't finished my apps. There it is. Okay. Four, four, six point fifty eight. Four fifty eight. Yes. Okay. We'll be back in a moment. Dow's up hundred and forty five. S and P's up ninety. Okay. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at 
TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Uh, we're back. Dow's up 180, just a relentlessly pushing higher. Um, the S&P's up 25. Uh, we'll see exactly what happens later in the day when the Fed speaks. But we've got Mike in Kansas City. Mike, how are you? I'm great, Basil. How are you? I'm very well. Uh, what would you like to look at? All right. I've, I've got what I think is a great teaching opportunity for you on the Chapman Wave or for you to teach us. So I've been looking at this Harmony weekly chart for a while. I got into Harmony a few weeks ago at 585. And by my count on the weekly chart, I've got Harmony in a leg F. Slash a and obviously there's a huge difference between if it's an F or an A. I just think it's it's probably an A, but would love to hear your thoughts on what things we can look at to determine if it's an F or an A. Because if it's an A, all pullbacks should be you know looked at as buying opportunities, and if it's an F, obviously you know we know what that means. Right. So uh, you know, as a student of the Chapman Wave methodology, there are a bunch of things. I've already done quite a bit of work on Harmony. But what I haven't done in the monthly chart, I wanted to see what the, the, the acceleration to the upside would do before I even thought about it. And this is actually I was going to do the, the monthly chart, but I'm actually going to do the um, – the weekly, no, nah, it's too long. So the monthly, let me just do this. Let me go backwards. So the monthly chart is in a leg D. Now, very few of the gold stocks have this kind of strength. This is Harmony Gold, folks. HMY is a symbol up 14 cents today at 7.03. It was on my list uh, when for my subscribers when I was choosing a gold stock the other day. Um, and I decided that I would choose another one that also had a very strong uh, pattern. Uh, also in the also in the single digits, and that wasn't really the issue, but it was nice that you've had a good pattern in the single digits. So let me just show you something here. I usually look at patterns, and oh, I may as well go to this chart here because that's the most important thing that I look at. So let me do that. Oh, oh. okay, cancel there. <laughs> 
and so many charts of, okay, here we go. So this is what I'm looking at. There's a, I look at three major trends, just in lines and, and curves. So straight up, straight down is one. Cup formation is another. Arch formation is another. And then you can get a combination where you come straight down, you make the arch formation. I was speaking about that a little earlier on, uh, where there was a one-to-one -one of the arch to the downside. And in the cup formation, you can get the same thing. But most of you are looking at straight line, cup, or arch. Well, look at this. This here, on a purely visual basis, now I, I, you might also remember that I'm not a big fan of when the Chapman wave fails at a peak D in a retracement back to either an all-time high or a pretty major high that was made. So this is a leg D. To be really bullish, it needs to take out the monthly high of the 20th of July, at uh, July of 2020, at 761. And here it is at 705 with absolutely fabulous action. That's number one. Number two is, so what I do then is I grab the outer, the, the left side lip, and I drag a line. In this case, I, I like to take the rectangle, and I take it, usually I start off by saying, what if I went to the exact low? I call this a plumb line in the Chapman wave uh, cup formation or arch formation match. Left side, right side, price time match. And what I would do is then I'd go click and I'd give you a right side. And that takes you all the way to, whoa, that takes you all the way to November of this year where it should get just 60 cents higher. So that to me is just, that's not right. That just doesn't look right. It isn't right. So then what I do is I say, okay, that's incorrect. What would I do next? Well, I, I try to find a particular candle. And in this case, I'm choosing this particular candle right here. That's the candle of, um, yes, that's the candle of June. And I go to the right, whoops, and I go to the right side right there. I go click. Oh, I keep messing up. There. So I go click, and I see where it takes me to, because I want to do a chapter wave inside wedge target repellent line. And this one takes me to next month, which is fine. And now I'm going to go from the left side trough of importance. I go right here, and I do this. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because your question was, is this a potential not just short-term trade, but an intermediate tra term trade, I think that's your question. And I'm, going, I'm trying to do this work to say my longer term chart says that the uh, 768 was a seven, oh, there it is, 761 high of 20 in, in 2020 should be hit this month or next month. But the next resistance on the monthly chart is at 739. So that says the MACD is good, stochastics at 87%. On balance volume was overbought. Now it's, it's it's pulled back a little bit. The nine is still very strong. This is a powerful move, regardless of whether it's in leg D or whatever it is in the monthly chart. It's a very powerful move. Now, the way I look at this in the weekly chart is there's an expanding. It's not one of my favorite patterns, but it's one I always draw in, and that's this expanding wedge like a cone formation. There are a lot of uh, technical analysts that use this particular pattern. Uh, I use it just because it's there and there's a trend line. But you can see there's almost like a price match in the number of one two, time match. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars between the high of the 20, week of the 22nd of December of 6.58. Big pullback to the 14 period moving average. And then the rally to a slightly higher high of 6.76, the week of the 2nd of Feb. Then it takes one, two, three, four. This is only five bars, it's one week less, and it's taken out that resistance. So to me, that says the nine period moving average on the pullback never even went close to turning negative. So that says it's still a powerful, um, the indicator of last resort is still extremely powerful. Now we look at the MACD, which was weak. We have to wait until Friday at four o'clock to talk about it. Uh, as if that's the bar that closes. So it's only intra-week. So I'm saying to you, at this particular point, the MACD is trying to cl cross positive. If it does, that's a good thing, but it hasn't yet. 
on balance ones a little overbought stochastics only at 45 so this is a work in progress and it's saying if you want to do measured moves this is a bigger measured move to the upside than any of the to leg d or to leg e this is very positive so I, i'll leave the question just for the moment and i'll put it in and we'll see what we're going to do f slash a now the reason why i want to do this is because so many of the stocks that have done well are going to have the same question now We've got a very quick in this cup, second cup formation looking at the uh, daily chart. It's making higher highs. It, it actually made a slightly lower low. So this is a brand new move. And now what we're looking at is, whoops, there it is. We're looking at this big move to the upside, having a doji candle yesterday and now breaking decisively above it in leg D. That's very positive. And the stochastics are 97%. The unbalance of volume, the way it spiraled to the upside, says it could get, be getting a little tired now, just as it did at the previous PD. Can you hold on? I will, thanks. Okay, we'll be back with Mike. We're looking at HMY, Harmony, the reason why I want to take some time. It's a tell. It's a very good looking stock. I'll be back in a moment. That's up Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi hey folks, we're on with Mike uh, from Kansas City. We're looking at Harmony. I've actually got GDX right now because I need to see that. That's in leg B. The stochastics at 93%. The on-balance volumes uh, 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 really nicely. It's running nicely. It's not overbought. The RSI, look, yes, the relative strength moving up. 
and it's just surpassed the 200 period moving average in the daily but the day is young and the week is young we'll see i think that's going to be a magnet line but you've got 29.99 as the 200 period moving average that it always likes to test so that's another good sign for harmony as long as we've got the gdx and gold moving to the upside so what i am looking at here is that the breakout has turned i think this is actually more important to you to say what would be the support level that really tells me that if that goes, even thinking intermediate term is not right because you have to deal with the current move down. And what I would say is <clears throat> at any point in the next, today is Wednesday. So let's give, it a, let's give it a full week and a half. In that week and a half, if it's able to get to 740, oh, if it gets to that 760 level that was the high of November, that's fantastic, but that should also be very strong resistance. But in the meantime, it's acting so well that we want to see the Friday close in the weekly chart because this little pattern with this U shape, which becomes a cup shape uh, formation in the weekly chart, will just dissipate. It, it won't be a relevant one if the weekly chart, it doesn't have to close there. I'd say it doesn't have to close out, prefer if it did, but if it's able, to have a little bit of a pullback today's Wednesday, maybe Thursday, and by Monday or, or Tuesday of next week, we get that test of the 738 to 742 level. That'll say to me <clears throat> that you're starting to build a base, and I'll draw this in as a base. Because for me to look out with anything that can happen, whether it's geopolitical, political, um, it would be silly to say, oh, yeah, this looks fantastic. It's absolutely an A, and we're going to go to B, C, and D. That's what the Chapman wave does. Rather than F, it could still go to a G with an alternate count. So I don't want to get there right now. Then to say a gap up in the weekly is just coincidental that it happens to be a Monday because that would have been a continuation pattern. But it's a gap up nevertheless. And as a result, what we're looking at is that this whole base of five, I'm going to say 560, I'll give it just a little room because it can go under, but it needs to close above. It needs to close above 540. In the next two weeks, I'd even say three weeks, it could, take, it could go sideways. But that's really the issue. The further that it breaks to the upside, and I could do a measured move now, but we've already got the cup formation with the measured move. It's almost there from the low of 340, uh, 341, the week of the 18th of August, to the high that was made. Uh, 548, the high that was uh, 543 that was made back on uh, the week of the 5th of May, we've got that expansion to the upside. So that kind of coincides where you're getting re you should have resistance in the GDX. It's the same sort of thing. So as I'm looking at it now, your question didn't need to take this long, but I did want to do the work because it was one that I'd considered. I did the same kind of work on the stock that we haven't got yet that I wanted. We just missed it. Um, and this is in the same category. And the, the other one was a South African stock as well. So Harmony Gold looks very good. And the fact that it's in D in the monthly is not an issue. Doesn't mean to say, oh, my God, we're in a D, watch out. The previous D went all the way to an E, so that's not an issue. It's the nine-period moving average so strong in the monthly, so strong in the weekly, and just becoming strong in the daily. That's important. So I like it very much. Those are the levels that I'd be looking at. Now, if we do want to look to the upside, what's fascinating about Harmony, if I open up the monthly chart long term, you've got all the way to 14, to just under 14, the double top that was made back in April, 13.69 um, to 13.73 the following month of May. This is a Chapman Wave two-bar reversal. That's a peak A, B, C. Yep, that's your D. So that goes all the way back to 2011. So this is forming a, a very long cup a bowl formation, actually. And the moment it starts trading, uh, maybe by uh, the spring and another maybe month or two, if it really keeps this up, if it starts to trade on a weekly basis in the eights and nines, all of a sudden you're tackling uh, levels that it hasn't been in since 2012. So I like it. It was a long answer, but I'm doing this only because it's really pertinent to a lot of the gold stocks. So I hope that helps you. 
Basil, that was that was very helpful. The bottom line is. Uh, there's there's really nothing for me to do. I'm just going to sit on my hands and watch it play out. Thank you. Okay, pleasure. And thank you for calling. And, and uh, any questions you have with the chairman wave like you had now, just send, send them over and we'll deal with them on the air. Thank you very much. Uh, so, um, I don't know, I don't know what I'm for. okay, so there are a couple of questions that I needed to get you. Let me just look down. Yes, PLTR, I always get a question about Palantir. I, I said I like it. It's getting a little bit, there's some resistance around in this area. Um, the 9 period moving average is very strong. I said it's arching over. Is that a peak F? Um, I really have to say that this is now probably a G slash C. And I've got an alternate count because the important 9 period moving average is above the, um, very much above the 14. But I do think, okay, let me just draw this in. On a purely visual basis, I'm going to say that this area here, this rectangle that I've drawn, I think is going to be the containment area for Palantir Technologies over the next two, three weeks. That it could pop up a little bit, but it's going to keep coming back into the 22s. And the question I was asked the other day, where is the support? And I said, 22 is the support. If it starts to trade in the low 21 area, then you've got to consider that this huge gap, earnings maybe or whatever it was, of the uh, beginning of February in the 19s, that could be tested. But at this point, leg D in the weekly chart, uh, it could be an alternate. No, it's leg D, leg D in the monthly. Everything here says that there's a good chance that this area that I'm circling, let me get my error, between, uh, to, I, I'd said it could go a little higher, maybe to the 27th today, going to 26.30 in the 27th. But I'm suspecting that that's going to be the building block for a base. And the weekly chart, I'd say, looks very good. But if it gives back some of this long move up that was made back on the 6th of, on 9th of February, the low of 16 and high, 16.48 and 25.11 was the high, yeah, some of that midway should be filled in towards 20.85. So that's what I'm looking at for a Palantir. Oh, where was the other one? Oh, could I just run these uh, Microsoft? Yep, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft's trading down again, down to... I drew the same kind of rectangle that I just did in Palantir. I think Microsoft's having a really important digestive phase. It could be a phase that says, for a little while, you're going to make lower highs and lower lows. That's what we're long from 338. We've had a whole trading bunch of trading positions uh, when it was down in the 366 area. Then we're out of state, just kept our core position. The core position went all the way to 420.82. On that day, we took uh, something off at 420.20. And I'm just sitting back. I don't want to short it. I don't want anything. I'm just saying it's kind of a clue to me um, about the overall um, Mag 7s. Those magnificent 7s. And this has been one of the weak ones. Oh, Amazon? Yep. Yeah. I'll go to Amazon right now. Amazon is a little weaker. And that's the same sort of thing. Just a little digestive phase at 173. I'll be back. That was at 136. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So a couple of questions came in. I'll do the first one. Uh, MJ, yes, we were out of it. We had a position. And look, look what happened. It had a really nice move up to two peak Ds. First one, just like that harmony we were looking at, a DOE, and then a pullback. So then it started a big move, and it did the same thing, except that this one stalled just under fall, and it pulled back. And then what happened is that the pink, the nine-period moving average was so strong, green went pink, and then what happened is this chapter wave inside track propellant zone uh, became a repellent zone. And I, I'm not interested. I'm sorry. We, I, I've said that this is a very important thing. Why? Because if it managed to get to the four, into the 420, 430 area, that would have said, you know, this is now in play. Finally, alternate harvest ETF cannabis sector is working. The MSOS. Uh, had a slightly better chart, but then they started to match one another, not looking very good. There's the dreaded H. Remember, we're looking at that pattern where you come straight down, you have a rally and at a peak A or a B, you turn down, take out the left side low. That's happening right now. That's the advisor shares, pure U.S. cannabis. I think for subscribers, this will be on our list, probably more than the MJ, which is Canadian, more Canadian. It includes the Canadian. This is purely U.S. cannabis. I, I'll, I'll check him out, but we're out of it. I, the reason is, I believe very strongly that if you had it, and I, I, I'd said that the MJ, that there's a chance you could hold this. And in a few months' time, no matter what it did on the downside, wherever you got in, it'll be much higher. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to the sixes or eights later in the year, especially when the political situation gets to the point where uh, whoever, this is another, this is a potential for another group of voters, right? Uh, whatever age group it is. So I this is my imagination. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm not prepared to have it for subscribers getting in at about 350 and then seeing it go down to 250. That's I mean 30 30 40 percent decline. Even though I'm saying that I think when it finally kicks in, it's going to be really quick. Though you'll just it'll start slowly and then go on a really good speed. Uh, almost like the gold stocks have just done. But I, it has to do that. I need price to do that. I need it to be trading in the 420. So I said, got a tight stop. We're, we're out. We're done. Uh, I can always get back. And that's just the way it is. So for MJ, uh, for subscribers, we're now out of it. We're going to uh, have to just wait. Uh, it's on the list. Uh, that was it. Next one was Tesla. Uh, a couple of people asked me, where do I think Tesla's going? Well, Look, here's the arch formation. Let me just show you this. So there's a particular pattern in my webinars. If you go to subscribe, you can check out all the webinars. There's a case where I talk about straight line down, and then you make an arch formation or an inverted V, but it goes to an A or a B, peak A or a B. Then it fails. If it takes out the left side low, look, it just did that right there, a little H pattern. 
another one, H pattern. Then there was a sharp rally in Tesla. And what did it do? It went from a, a low to a peak A, B, C, and then it fails. If you fail at a peak C minus by going lower than the left side low, and let's just see exactly where that is right now. Oh, we've got a bunch of things to discuss. So let me get a move on. I then just say, so uh, 184.68 was the low of the 5th of February. 173, we're already under that. We're in the 173s. So I draw in the arch formation. And if it closes uh, sharply below this, then, and the technical start to deteriorate. And look, the MACD's now just turned negative. Stochastic's already at 40%, should go down to the 20% or lower area. On balance volume is weak. The nine period yesterday turned pink and it's pink today. That just, and you remember these one to ones that we had on the way to the downside, testing the 200 period moving average? So I'm not saying that just yet. I'll have to do that tomorrow. But right now, and there was, I don't want to do it. I haven't got time. There's an arch formation with the left side, right side price time match going to tomorrow that says if you take out the left side low and close sharply below it, um, you've got two days in which to close back above 173.01. Is that a 305? 175.01. If it can't do that, it means that there's a chance you could do a one to one. So that's just on a 30 point basis. That says, and I usually just, I don't go exactly from that low to the downside, but I start off at a moving average or a candle or a, or a, um, or a gap. So this has got from 190. That really says 160s is a target for um, Tesla. So that, okay, I hope that answered your question. Oh, upside says 190 is very strong resistance at the moving average. The next one was VNO. Oh, Renato, is that Renato? That's a reach, right? Ronald, no, 26.56, I believe it is. Yep, Bernardo Realty Trust, haven't looked at it for years. <clears throat> Used to have it all notated, don't anymore for some reason. Peak A, peak B. Yeah, this is, so the question is, can it go much higher? I think it's holding quite nicely at 26.56. It needs to, it cannot close below 25.60, a point lower, and that just is now stuck in a rectangle formation, not going anywhere. But if it closes, if it is 27.20, that's a, quite a bit away. Today's up 27 cents. Then you've got to look at the left side high of the 27.40 level of the 12th of February. But that monthly chart, the weekly chart says the 9 is still over the 14, but it's starting to weaken. All the technical indicators are weakening. The 9 is still over the 14. But it looks to me that I need to say to you, if in the next three weeks, I'm going to give it all the way through third week of March, if there is a nick of this low of 24.17, the week of the 16th of February, I'm, I'm pretty sure that green 9 pre moving average is going to turn pink. So, and the monthly chart, yeah, it's good. Um, nothing wrong with it. Um, but it needs the daily to help the weekly and the weekly to help the monthly. Okay, I hope that helps you. Oh, IW, IWT, this is really important. This is a transportation average. I. Why am I forgetting? I, I all of a sudden, after all these years, blanking out. I transportation T. Oh, I W M I W T must be. No, it's the, oh man, what is? I did that just a short while ago. Look at the I W. All right, I'll get it in a moment. Uh, that's the transportation index we need to look at. It was doing very nicely. What is going on? Why would I forget? IWT, uh, ETF for transport index. See if I can get it here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, just tell me what is someone in the den. I'm just looking at the den. Anybody know what it is? IYT. Of course, I've typed this a million times. There we are. IYT. IYT. Made a peak G three days ago at 283.74. I'm watching this because it has made an all-time high above the 282.40 high of May. This is that. This is the. This is the plumb line, right here. The beautiful number of bars on the left from the high to the low, to where we are right now. It did it exactly last month. That was in February. It broke it by just a fraction at 282.40. It went to 280. 
Let me tell you now what it went to. 282.25. Just under. But it, it did everything. Look, there's a trap wave inside wedge target resistance line. Uh, there's leg D. So this is saying watch for a potential double top. It doesn't mean to say it's going to happen, but I am watching very closely. All right. Well, thank you for that. Oh, man. I'll be right back in a moment. I always check the dead. I certainly did. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 136. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, so a couple of questions came in. The first one was, well, first of all, thank you to both the Den and the Tiger YouTube, Pat and Tiger YouTube, and uh, Dan the Den for that IYT. Um, yeah, so a uh, question about, um, I, I'll do this quickly. 
PFE, has, is this an island reversal breakout to the upside? Yes, it's an island reversal at 27.18. Because of the way the MACD is rising in the weekly chart, the stochastic's okay at 32%. I'm not sure if you're looking to go long. What I would say to you is that it's extremely oversold, this is Pfizer, but at 27.18, why not, if, if this is the question, why not just nibble here at 27.19? I would absolutely have just for the nibble, I'd have a two-point stop. And let's look at it again tomorrow, uh, maybe even today's Wednesday, maybe even Friday. We'll be, give it a little room. That gap, some of the gap might be full. But it's at least telling you that if this is the start of another move up, you can do something with it by starting a position. It gives you a better feel for it. Just a tiny little position. SYM, that's uh, symbolic. I've read so many things about the CEO and others selling $5 million, $10 million worth of stock. Um, I don't quite understand. Yes, it's a nice move up today. Hopefully, 200 period moving average. This is a real tough one. We're in at 21. It went to uh, the 